Ben and Lourdes, the government calling nearly two dozen witnesses showing graphic sex tapes to jurors over the last couple of weeks, allegedly showing R. Kelly with underage girls, including a young lady who says that she was just 14 years of age when Kelly allegedly groomed her into having sexual threesomes. Jennifer Bonjean, R. Kelly's defense attorney, leaving Chicago's federal courthouse this early afternoon after government lawyers rested their case. U.S. District Judge Harry Leinenweber hearing defense motions tomorrow. Jurors in a written note read aloud in court pleading with the judge to get Friday off. With Labor Day coming up, the judge granting the four-day weekend. Testimony earlier today focusing on another alleged Kelly victim, this time with the suit of Nia. She testified the pop star molested her in 1996 while Kelly masturbated at a Minnesota hotel. Under friendly questioning today by Assistant U.S. Attorney Jason Julian, Nia testifying she met Kelly in an Atlanta mall when she was only 15 years old. That initial contact, she says, resulting in a phone call from Kelly's handlers arranging a flight to Minneapolis to see him in concert. Nia picking up a single rose to share with Kelly. I wanted R. Kelly to know how I felt about him, she says. I felt it would be a gesture that'd be sweet, that he would like. But a post-show encounter anything but sweet in a Minnesota hotel room, Nia testifying that Kelly masturbated while fondling the underage girl, Nia alleging that she told the singer she was only 15. In bruising cross-examination, Bon Jean hitting hard. If you told them you were 15, you must have discussed the fact your mother wouldn't condone or consent you leaving the state of Georgia, getting on a plane by yourself, and going to see a grown man, right? Prosecutors objecting to the line of questioning against an alleged victim, the judge quickly sustaining the objection, Nia saying that her mother, who was a nurse, wasn't home at the time when she left. Now, lawyers for Kelly and two co-defendants are set to begin their defense a week from today. You may remember back in June, R. Kelly was convicted in a New York federal courtroom on sex trafficking charges, and he was sentenced to 30 years in the penitentiary. At the Dirksen Federal Building, Julian Cruz, WGN News.